everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul and tell me the size. Whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect, I'm doing the fire. I'ma do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I'm to my soul and tell me the size. Whenever the Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into True Blood, Season 2, Episode 12. We are wrapping up Season 2 of True Blood, and then we're going to be jumping right into Season 3. You guys are excited for Season 3. You guys told me Season 3 is amazing. I've loved Season 2 so far, and Season 2, Episode 10 was my favorite episode thus far, I believe. Um, season 11 was like, okay, we're here. I believe that they built up everything in the last previous episode for the finale of this show. So let's jump right into this. You want to see this in full reaction, the links are down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button, share, and comment. Now, without further ado, let's jump into True Blood and find out exactly what the show has got to give. She wants you downstairs with the egg. Oh, he's Lord. Coming. He's coming. This means he's coming. He's coming. You don't, don't want to do this. this. For Bromios, prepare for denture test. Listen to what you're saying. I have a thousand years of that by blood in me. Now, don't go. 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 now put this on. Just prepare for Bromios. Oh, my goodness. Right for you. Just in time. What the hell are you doing in my grandmother's wedding dress? <laughs> <laughs> no, I should have asked, but I couldn't find you. You probably never used it anyway. Oh, go to hell. Oh, I've always liked you, Sookie. You give me extra pickles. <laughs> uh, I will not let this happen. Come on, Lafayette. Oh, and bring some vines. Wow. I'm all yours. Give it your best. Electricity. Do it again. I can. I've never felt anything like it. It was like nature herself was shooting out from your fingertips. Hands. That's ah. hitting me. I'm not committing to this at all. You were human. I've taken you over by now. Wow. Come on. Maybe our little secret. The fuck are you? Ah. <laughs> I'm a no. Your mother locked up in her own house. Ah. Norman Bates. This is bigger than your petty little feelings. God is coming into our midst. Stay home. <laughs> there ever a time you felt someone or something watching over you? Fun, then what am I? Live off human energy. And yours I can't channel. That's very rare. You're marrying Sam? Sam is... He's just the ideal wedding gift. I'm getting a little overexcited. I'll smear everything. How do you know he's coming tonight? I know my special sacrifice is on his way. He's done nothing to you. He is the vessel. He appeared to me naked. Does that involve cutting out his heart? It's the food of the gods. He can escape you. That is why you are here. Learns where you are. He'll come running like a dog. What? Maybe even as a dog. Oh, is that? Beautiful. Not at all, Sissy Pop. How long does this game go on for? We played a five million. She's way ahead. Social, physical, or intellectual inferior, but your chances are equal to mine. Oh, uh, speaking of which, I heard about your maker. That blows. <gasps> Yahtzee! That's six in a row! It is a magic. I do not cheat. Did you know that there's a Maynard in Renard Parish? William Compton, a few bits of hand-me-down folklore we've accumulated over the centuries. You know, I think he's monogamous with his human. He is in love with her, he is. He is? Of course, he would be with her. You probably are, too. He's not entirely human. Have you tasted her? One vampire falling in love is bad enough. Yes, Bill Compton certainly has a nag for finding trouble. How does he know I'm having you sell vampire blood? There's no way he could... That is really bad. He does not know that you are supplying it. I'm holding you responsible. Here they are. You may be the strongest, oldest vampire in my queendom. If I wanted, I could own your fangs as earrings. I will take care of Bill Compton. Personally. She's scary. <laughs> you suck at this. Sure you want to no back up. You're my back up. <laughs> Stackhouse, bro. 
property. They got no right to do that. The kind of man would stand by while his grandmother's house gets poured to the ground. I'm going to tell you that this town needs a good man, Andy. And that man is us. Our Lord! Oh, no! He's coming! Fuck yeah! There's a main ad in our midst. Yeah, I'm familiar. Are you aware she's here because of you? And Sookie needs you to make this right. And what's to say she's gonna stop at me? Killers don't just suddenly quit killing. You must come with me. Ooh. Oh, I'm not sure I want to be doing that. I'm not sure I'm giving you a choice. Maid of honor, you have to lick the egg. Just lick it already. Oh, yeah. Only through the blood will he come. Your vessel has arrived. <laughs> Time has come. <laughs> you too. I will not be part of anything so evil. Maybe I could kill you. Yeah. Fine, I'll go, but please, just don't uh, hurt anyone else. Oh, no. <laughs> the hell are you doing? I have your sacrifice. Oh, my sweet vessel. Take her to the dead man. She served a purpose. Oh. Bill! Get hands off me! Tell her! No! Let go of me! I will always be grateful to you. This isn't for you. Gentlemen, he's yours. <laughs> this is what your vampire source told you to do? To give up Sam? Uh -huh. You have to trust me. God. Worship him, bitches! <laughs> Hail Dionysus! Our offering symbolizes the rebirth of our god. The jealous titans ripped him to shreds, eating all but his heart, who placed it into the womb of his mother so that he could be reborn. Oh, great mother, soon you shall have the heart that will make your egg grow fertile. Bullhorn god will come and stand in your place. What is going on? He's yours, my lord. We once wished to have their life mean something. So few ever get to realize. Use your gift! Suki, use yours. Bring me the blood. Oh, yes. He is the vessel. I know, Lord, it's never coming. Sam! Destroy it. All of it. Lord Dionysus, forgive me. Help me to sacrifice all of them for you. You're hurting them! You brought us upon everyone. What? There's a cow! My oh. husband! <laughs> Make them believe. We're together at last. <sighs> oh, the vessel. Yes. I'm happy to die. Yes. <laughs> yes, Sam! Was there no God? Ha 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 ha! That was good. Killed you. No. Bill brought him back. Almost. Is she gone? I think so. I promised Sam that I would heal him. We knew no other way of destroying her. Sam, you were willing to die for us. Bill kind of promised he wouldn't let that happen. Holy fuck. Tyra, we're no longer talking to you, girl. I'm over Tyra. Bill, get rid of the body. Bury it. I don't care where. Help everyone get home. Ain't you gonna tell me what happened? Not huh. now. It's all over now. Uh, girl, why are you I crying? I have this sick feeling that it's not. Mama, you're okay. You're okay, mama, mama. But you don't remember Last anything? The thing I remember is meeting that red-headed vampire of yours. Let a vampire feed on me? <laughs> what on earth would you choose that girl over your own mother? What an evil monster would attack an innocent person for no reason. Whatever it was that had control over you, it made you say a bunch of things you didn't mean. And daddy... 
lies about how he shot himself. Yeah, that's not true, right? Oh, you're nearly 30. You should know the truth. All these years you keep me here, you keep me from moving out, you keep me from going to college. Oh, because you're scared of some burglar that never existed. You're all I got left. I had to hang on to you. You lied to me. Because you didn't want to be alone. Instead of letting me be an actual person. I wish it just could finished you off. <gasps> Ooh. White is over it. I'm just going to be home real soon. Okay? I love you. Trucks is down the road. Oh, could you? Oh, God bless you. Oh! Oh! Our finger. Nothing. I think I my finger. Can't throw that together. Oh, fuck. I can't. I'm out of the station in the morning, and I'll give you your back. You might have your faults, Sandy, but at least you got pants on. But there, like that lady, Daphne, wanted to thank you for trusting me with your life. So if you're safe, you got what you wanted. You wanted it too. She's family. But they all are. I'm grateful that you would reveal your gift for the sake of the town. But you suffer a lot more hiding something than you do if you face up to it. Ah, uh, where's Mary? Yeah. She's got to know what happened. We're okay. Sookie helped me remember some of the things I lost. And I wish I could forget it again. Why dwell on it? Can't we just start fresh? Fuck, there's blood under my fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all coming? I think he went upstairs. Are you okay? Yeah, I just... I'm so sorry for bringing all this craziness into your house. I got sucked in because she made me feel like I was part of, like... Girl, family. then wh what's the excuse when you left them? We Tara. Oh, my God. Is, is Max Spencer still here? I'd be like, Tara, you have 30 days. Get out. <laughs> I know some people defend her, but whatever. How long uh, before sunrise? 41 minutes. Hold me for 40? Or 39, see, so has two minutes to get home. Give us some time, girl. Bar lots, bar and Gordy. Well, I certainly never expected anything like that to happen here. Hey, thanks for opening today. I know you didn't have to, but everyone's grateful for a little something familiar. I lost just the name. Doesn't really say anything about me, does it? Mr. Malak kept us company. He took us to see some vampires. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Malak's a good man, but he ain't your family. From now on, I'm gonna be the best mama in the world. Okay. You kids keep an eye on your mama when she's at home. Make sure nothing bad happens to her when she's here. That way we can all take care of each other. Hey, Arlene, Terry, we're drowning back here. Come on. When you went away for all that time, you didn't see Renee, did you? I think he's still on his vacation. Eat, eat. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yep. Ah, uh, <laughs> my ass. Marianne Forrester rhymes with Martian Thorner. <laughs> Have you heard that Marianne Forrester was an agent of the pharmaceutical companies? And the liberal media. TF shut down a distillery in Bro Bridge last week over a bad batch of vodka. Apparently, that's what they were serving up last night. Mountain Dew. Smart choice. I'm serious. I'd wear him like a scrunchie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. Everybody been acting so crazy, I forgot how stupid they were. Everybody just forgives her. Ah, there it is. So, ah, there it is. You know what really happened. And you got to carry the burden of that. It's your shit. Don't tell me nothing. Even if I beg for it. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, Jane Boathouse wants to jump alive. But I'm thinking a gator must have bit it off while I was down at the lake. Luckily, I use my right hand for most things. I saw you pull that finger out of a giant statue of meat, getting it from behind from my expenser. <laughs> Whatever you're drinking, we all want some of that. <laughs> Diet Coke with lime. <laughs> Used to be they all thought I was crazy. Now they know I'm telling the truth and they can't face it. You and me both know we saved her and everybody else. They don't remember anything. We don't remember anything. How's that make us heroes? We set out to save this town for Marianne. Now today, she's gone. No one thinks we're heroes. It don't count. Of course it counts. It'd be easy to do it for the glory or the girls. But we're bigger men than that. Huh? Yep. Go ahead, Jason. It's strange to see you working here. You think you can keep an eye on things here uh, without me for a couple days? The one who hadn't had a break. And, uh, in case you didn't notice, last night was a little rough. Well, I for one wish that everyone knew how special you are. Good job, Sucky. Autumn from Mesa, Mayor Bell Rustin. Special delivery for you. Lucky girl. You got one classy admirer. Uh, can I have a minute? Well, he wants to give you a few days. She's so weird. A purple dress. Looks like she got it from rainbows. <laughs> oh, Bill. I, uh, I gotta talk to you. What is it? You look like you haven't slept all night. 
There's gaps. When I can't remember anything. Please, Sophia, I need your help. Oh, I don't know. But I had blood on my hands last night, and I can't remember why. Marianne made a lot of people do a lot of things they wouldn't ordinarily do. Like, like what? What things? I don't know who I am, and I, I don't know what I am, and I, you can help me. I know you can help me. Please, just tell me what to do. I want you to find it. You have to open yourself up. Let's go back to your first blackout. Do you remember that? <laughs> I'm with Marianne <laughs> in her car. She's taking me somewhere. <laughs> then it's just blank. Concentrate. Near a vessel to the other world, you will bring forth my God. <laughs> you, you had no free will. I fucking kill people. I cut off their hearts. Eggs, I'm so sorry. Bye, Eggs. You look quite a vision. You off to see Hoyt Fortenberg? So what if I am? You're going to see Soki, aren't you? In my day, the gentleman came to the lady's house to court her. I see his mother's gone. He took her home yesterday. Hope she's better. And I hope you and Hoyt have a nice time. But I was just going to go over and make an apology. Well, he'd be a fool not to accept. And where are you going with Suki? To a French restaurant. Be back by five. Uh, you be back by four. The bell's in a good mood today. Misses him a lot. Oh, dear God. Threw away all the pictures of me. We have them. Hard to explain to friends who think we never had children. Never thought we'd see you again. Never say never when there's the internet. If you came for an explanation, uh, I don't have a good one. We turned into a doll. Apparently that was worth abandoning me over, so I spent the next 19 years making sure nobody knew who I really was. I am so sorry. We never meant to hurt you. I'll find the people you adopted me from. I want to meet my parents. I want to know them. They're bad people. Well, I guess you know a thing or two about that. So these weren't his parents. You look very nice, Hoyt, but she's at your house. Jessica! Uh, no, before we go any further, I think there's some young new virgin. Oh, yeah? That's okay. I like it. Really? Well, I don't like it one bit. Aw, oh, Hoyt. I'll get the music. Oh! Tonight. So you look really pretty in purple. No shade. The side of you is not something I wish to share with others. No, I'm gonna eat, but... What's there for you to do at a restaurant besides look at me? We can dance. Man. Just make believe. It ain't the first time. Andy, we really like you. Shocker. Hold up. Hold up. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm a killer. Why don't you put the knife down? We'll talk about it's it. It's a murder weapon, you dumb fuck. Vote no, you're under Marianne's spell. I mean, it was me who cut out this woman's heart, Andy. Give me that knife. Oh, listen to me. What is wrong with him? That was the last thing they saw, Andy. I ain't never killed nobody before. Fuck, this ain't even mine. Didn't say anything. You weren't here. Get the hell out of here. Thank you, Jason! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Uh, what happened? Don't let Tyra be from our killer. He's coming after me. Oh, and, uh... God. Oh, Lord. No, please. <laughs> Somebody type it virtually down below. It's a good thing you don't eat. I can't think of a better way to top off the best meal of my life. Are we going on vacation, Bill? Plane tickets? Where's Burlington? It's in Vermont. It's a coat Vermont? factory. <laughs> oh, Lord. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Is assuming that last night didn't scare you off weddings for good. No, you're dead. I've dreamed of this since I was a girl. Dreams. I always say yes. Why can't I say it? Oh! My heart's flying around in my chest. I'm not sure about anything. I don't even know if I'm human. He met one other person in the world like me and who even knows where he is. And what happens when I grow old? And I don't care about any of that. She I cares. want you just as you are. Are you saying no? No, I'm saying... Give me time! I, I Didn't we just go through a whole thing about the village, Bill? And he don't even really care about what she's feeling. My loyalties are switching. <laughs> Suki, okay, I understand, girl. See, I hate Bill even more. He brought her to this place. Look at this wallpaper. Oh. She's like, is it big enough? Hmm. I would never hang out with Suki at this point. <laughs> I decided, yes. Yes, yes, Bill Compton. I will marry you. How to be Eric is my first thought. Bill? Oh, well, well, well. 
so I have to say, so I, I'm a mixed bag with this episode as a finale. I feel like, the, what episode was that? I'm telling you, I think episode 10 should have been the finale. No shade and no tea. Um, let me look this up. I don't want to be a liar. I don't want to like, uh make it seem like I'm just, it's just me. If I was gonna give episode 10 a rating, I would give it a, a beyond, beyond a 10. Um, but episode 12, I would give it an eight or eight and a half. Let's see what IMDB has it as, because I said eight and a half, okay? This, people said eight, okay, so it wasn't the strongest. Let's go back. Okay, so episode episode 12, they rated an eight. You guys know I love IMTV. Um, episode 11, they rated an, an well, they rated episode 12 an 8.1. Episode 11 was an eight. Episode 10 was 8.5, which I would rate it a 10, because that's how much, I, like, it, I thought it was phenomenal. Um, damn, that's so weird. It's so weird that the, the flavor of the whole show or like the hype, I should say, it kind of dimmed down for me. Now, I'm not saying this was a bad finale at, at any means or any choice or anything, but it just wasn't giving what I thought it would be giving. Hmm. You know what it is? We killed, Mary Ann was a very good villain. And then I feel like, damn, why didn't I think about this in episode whatever it was, like five at least, on how to kill Mary Ann. Turn, well, because we didn't know, um, what we knew once the queen said just a few sentences but overall once the queen died i was like oh what are we gonna do here then i thought we we're gonna go back to the church because by the queen's death it was about 25 minutes in and i was like okay so we're not gonna waste another 30 minutes or so uh just doing really nothing and that's what we did <laughs> we actually did nothing we thank god we killed eggs oh my god eggs i never really was attached to other than him looking good. Like, like he, he he's a very good looking man. So besides him giving us visual effect, I just, and him being the muscle for Marianne, I didn't really care if he was here or not. I actually was hoping that he did die because I, I am very anti-Tara. Now I know that people, and isn't that, isn't that crazy that in this episode, I really like Sookie and I have completely turned a 360 against Tara. And I love Tara, like loved Tara, but I am over her and her mother. I think what it was, it left such a sour taste in my mouth from the last episode that I'm just not over it. Like there's no way I'm over it. And Tara wasn't under the influence of Marianne when she did what she did, including her mother. So um, at this point, and then somebody did say, the vast, I, the comments I did see, the vast majority of people kind of were agreeing with me, but there were other people that like, didn't agree with me. I don't believe that's what they were saying. Um, I think they were kind of sticking up for Tower, which by the way, feel free to have your own opinions. This is a free space. And you know, I like that. Um, I like, I like everybody's opinions. I don't feel like anybody's opinion is wrong uh, unless it's hurtful or mean that you need to shut the, no. Um, but uh, regardless, you guys are amazing. So <laughs> no shade. Um, but I just, I was so turned off with Tara. Anybody who really, Tara came off that it's always, that she's so about herself. She didn't care what was going to happen to her mother, her cousin, her best friend, who brought her into her fucking house, and she brought somebody else in the house, and the house was being turned upside down, inside out. Like, I'm just, I was over Tara, and all over a man, girl, what in the world? And somebody could argue and type ferociously down below that Tara wasn't loved, she isn't loved, or she doesn't feel loved because of her mother and stuff like that, but you should feel loved about your cousin and your best friend, at least, your cousin Cousin, I mean, then you could say your cousin didn't even want to be around you for her, his birthday. I mean, your birthday. But he also was just, you just found out that he was like kidnapped for like a while. So, and he was obviously injured. So there's just like a lot about Tara that I've been trying to wrap my head around. Uh, but I just, in this episode, I wasn't going to give her a break. She didn't deserve it in my eyes. And I was very happy when they blew it, um, when Jason blew. I actually like Jason even a lot more when he blew out eggs. Like, egg, why are you throwing the man down? You're taking a knife. You're like, you're doing the most. You want to be arrested. How about you just go to the precinct? Why are you waiting in the woods, the, the backyard of a, of a bar and grill, and then coming up to somebody with a knife and 
nighttime. He lucky that if it was me, he wouldn't even be able to get that close to me because I would have shot him like three times in the leg, one in the foot, one in the pinky, and uh, I don't know where else I would have shot him. I wouldn't have killed him though. Um, but Jason, he was just, all he sees is some person with a knife attacking some uh, a person that he came to save the town with and they've had now a new bond so he did he did what he thought he had to do um and you know he's all about this training thing so you know and jason's a little i don't know why he didn't shoot him in the foot or the arm because jason was reading my mind he said andres are you want me to get rid of this character and i'm gonna do it for you thank you Thank you so very much. So um, then, then I was like, Bill, you're like, thank you for renting out this French place that nobody came to anyways. So to rent it out, it's probably like $5.99. Tax, $6.53. But then, and then the wallpaper, oh my God. I know, I'm gay. So the wallpaper was driving me crazy. But besides that, then you're like getting her, oh, we're going to Vermont. And then you're posing marriage. Can you give Suki like a little bit of a break? Like, like, thank you for this beautiful house. I mean, beautiful crate place. Thank you for, you know, being a good uh, partner. But can you like, I, I'm, ch I'm just figuring out that I might not be human. I just, we just saved the town. I just saw my one Sam almost die. I just like, I'm, I'm going through so much. Give me a, and didn't this is rich. Then she also helped Egg McMuffin see that he's a murderer, uh, see he's a murderer, and like, like damn, just give me, and I just got this purple dress from Rainbows, like give me a second. She, you know, Bill was just like, you know what, let me take the curtains off of my living room, send it to um, Suki, and tell her this is a beautiful dress, wear it tonight, and I'll propose to her, and then he doesn't, she's like, well, you know, I'm human. I'm gonna get old and weak. What's gonna happen to me? She, sh he's like, oh, I don't care about that. She cares about that. She's telling you she cares about that. Hello, Bill, you're immortal. She's gonna die soon. Well, in like 30 years or 40, 50. But regardless, like, he, I don't know. Bill's also annoying. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know how I feel. And then I feel like the last 15 minutes of this episode, we were building into the next season, but I wasn't really hyped up from the this 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 episode i wasn't all the way hyped up where then you could transfer that hypeness to the very ending where then i'm like okay oh we're building up for the next season and then you kind of like just did that and like i already think i know what happened i think that eric because you saw the black gloves with the silver so it, i think it's eric i'm pretty sure it's eric and eric did tell the queen he was going to handle it so like, that's not like a big cliffhanger either. So I don't know, y'all. The queen, by the way, was super scary in that when she like snapped like that. And I guess she is like the most powerful one in this town or state, city, village, whatever. Um, but I'm looking forward to season three, y'all. I'm gonna go into season three with, um, with an open mind, open heart, and large thanks. Thank you guys so much for being here. While you're here, check out all my other reactions. And until next time, I'm off this.